welcome back. We're gonna be making our first dish here with Jason. Jason, what are you gonna be doing? Uh, right now, we're gonna start prepping the bruschetta. So we're gonna take the, the tomatoes and start dicing those. So we'll do those okay. together in a minute. And then uh, while I'm doing this, I'm gonna have Mark gonna start prepping some other things for the, the actual tomato dish itself. Uh, he's gonna be sauteing a little bit of garlic, um, some shallots and a little bit of olive oil. And then at the same time, he's also gonna be wilting some of that spinach for the stuffed mushrooms we'll be doing in a little bit. So we'll come in through here and we just basically do a nice little dice, something kind of rough. Okay. Because you want the tomatoes actually to be a little bit thick, so when we saute them, they're actually gonna be a little chunky and then we'll make the bruschetta topping. Okay. And as I get that going for him, I'm gonna start my dish here, which is the uh, sweet potato hash with peppers. So I like to uh, kind of get the peppers roasted. Now you can saute these or roast them. I feel like when you roast them, it smells up the whole area and it gives a great aroma so they know they're going to have a good meal and it takes a little extra love to roast them rather than just saute them up. Anyways, a lot of people don't know this, but firefighters, we do pay for all our own meals and at my station it's $6 a meal and so we have 10 guys so it's about $60 to make a meal for uh, the guys. So we pride ourselves on getting the best meal you can for that amount. Mm -hmm. So when I come in in the morning, I'll, I'll look through all the um, coupons and see what the best deal is. So if it's chicken, we're gonna do something with chicken. So you pull something out with chicken. If it's pork, you're gonna have pork. Today, pork wasn't on sale, but I wanted to make this for you guys. <laughs> so do you have a favorite item that you like to cook? Like, I know you guys yeah. like to stay healthy. That's a big thing right now is the switch to health in the firehouses. I mean, Absolutely. the guys that came on before would be, you know, cheese, hamburgers, heavy duty stuff. All the good stuff, right? Yes, yeah, so and now <laughs> we're doing like, there's paleo diet, there's low carbs. So mm -hmm. we try to do, you know, Rather than a regular russet potato, I'm gonna do sweet potatoes. Yeah. And that's better for you. They're um, good too, I like them. Like we're doing a lot of stuff with quinoa, like brown rice, rather than like just the white rice. Mm -hmm. It's little tricks like that that I like to use. Mm, these are smelling really good. Yeah, they're starting to go pretty nice I there. like that. You can't really over roast them, because after we're done here, we'll put them in a brown bag and let them steam themselves and we'll peel off the skin mm -hmm. and then dice them up. So, well, hey, you know, if they catch on fire, we're good, right? right. <laughs> yeah, a little bit too brown, but that's just about there. It's about ready, Jason. All right, I'm coming right now. I wish you guys right. could smell what's going on right now. It's phenomenal. Got some nice diced tomatoes, we'll throw them there. All right. So as we're kind of sauteing these tomatoes right here, what we'll end up doing is adding a little bit of more olive oil, because that gives it kind of a base in the liquid as well as adding a little bit of uh, balsamic vinegar that gives it that kind of that kick, that vinegar flavor. <laughs> um, of course, we'll add a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, Italian seasonings to kind of give it some more of that uh, okay. Italian flavor. So, more here, let's see, we'll grab a little bit of Italian seasonings. Jason, you have a favorite thing to cook? I kind of like to cook what the guys like to eat yeah. and the girls at the step fire stations. Okay. That's important to me to see the, 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 the people that we cook for happy. That's one of my big things is when I cook, I take a lot of pride in actually the cooking itself <laughs> to see if uh, you know they enjoy it. The worst is if we get a call right when I'm done cooking or right in the middle of cooking so then the food doesn't actually come out as well. Oh, that's the worst. So it does. it is kind of a pain sometimes when that's the case. Oh my gosh. So add a little bit of olive oil to this. That'll give it some of that liquid base as well as some of the balsamic vinegar. Ooh. And this is when you'll start to really start to smell the bruschetta, what you're, maybe the real popular smell of bruschetta. Oh, yeah, <laughs> I definitely smell it. It smells really good. And give that a little bit of a toss. All right, so for our next dish, we're gonna be making portobello stuffed mushrooms, which look really good. So tell me how you're gonna do this, Jason. All right, so I already did some of the prep work because most people know how to do some ground turkey, but and I've got the Italian uh, sausage, the turkey Italian sausage in here, mm -hmm. chopped up with actually a couple portobello mushrooms to make some of that more of that filling. Ooh. And added into that, we're gonna add a little bit of butter that we melted down just to give it some of the wetness. Butter's always good, it's always a good rich flavor. Some breadcrumbs. A little bit of white wine, <laughs> cooking wine. I won't tell. <laughs> and then of course, obviously a little bit of salt and pepper on top of that. Don't have exactly any pre-measures that we really do here in the fire station. Everything is kind of to taste. Now at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and get some gloves on. If you guys wanna eat gloves on too, because right. we're gonna get ready yeah. to start stuffing Always the mushrooms. Need to go around in the firehouse, mm -hmm. so got them everywhere. And then while I'm getting ready to make this mushroom mixture, if you wouldn't mind, you too, this is some cooked spinach that we cook down, cooked baby spinach. And this will go in the bottom or the bed of them as portobello mushrooms. And then once we get that in the bottom of the spinach, just a little amount. So okay. Take, you know, to show me take a mushroom. Made with them before, so. Oh. Put a little bit small amount of the spinach into the portobello right. mushroom like okay. that. And then while you're doing that, I'm gonna kind of make the stuffing mixture itself again. Yeah. And then you can always add a little bit more butter if you want. I try to not add as much butter. Um, add maybe a little olive oil if you need more of a binding agent, something a little bit wet. I'd be doing um, better. Or some more, <laughs> <laughs> more breadcrumbs to kind of make that seasoning. 
And then once you guys get all those bedded with that spinach, mm -hmm. then we're gonna take this mixture here and we're gonna stuff each of these portobello mushrooms. Did you saute these beforehand or are they just straight up? These are just straight up. There's mm -hmm. a few ways that you can do them. Some people do like to saute them, especially again in butter. Mm -hmm. um, they'll soften up a little bit mm -hmm. and make them really nice. Um, here again at the fire station, we really try to go healthy. So um, if you just cook them long enough, they cook down pretty well. Stuff these on there for you? Yeah, if you don't mind, this okay. is the stuffing mixture. I place that stuffing mixture over the mushrooms. Looks um, good. It'll be like this. What I like to do, because when you cook it, you can always have a little bit of wine. It's gonna cook off, but oh. use a little bit of white wine at the bottom. Okay. And when that cooks in, it almost steams with those mushrooms, softens them up into that white wine flavor, infuses into the mushrooms, as well as keeps them nice and soft. Everybody and likes white wine, right? And the alcohol burn off, <laughs> so there's nothing real big to do about that. Mm -hmm. So once you guys are done, stuff in those. We'll add a little bit of white wine again to the bottom of this mixture. I'm gonna try Kind of just here. coat the very bottom of the plate. Okay. Like, really and then we're gonna end up going in the oven off. for about 30 to 45 minutes at about 350 degrees um, until they're nice and soft. You actually start noticing the mushrooms kind of start falling apart. Ooh. And then it's gonna be right when they're uh, gonna be ready. That sounds really, really good. So let's get these into the oven and then we're gonna see what you're gonna bring up for us next.